Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And today we are in the kitchen. We're going to do some cooking. I'm going to make my favorite dish and my kids love it, but I'm very lazy today. I'm going to use the ready-made sauce for it. I'm going to make some lasagna, but I'm going to make it according to the way my kids like it and they don't stop eating this. I'm just going to use some beef mince meat but i'm going to make more because when you make when i make this usually i put some in the freezer we don't eat it all in one go so i've got some onions and some mixed vegetables i'll do put some spices and i also have the lasagna sheets that i'm going to boil some water and put some of these sheets in the bowl for it to Actually, let's put the cooker on and we boil the, the water and I'll show you as I go. I use a bit of oil. I only use, I like using the lean, the lean mince meat. So today guys, we're just going to spend some time with me in the kitchen. We're going to I'm going to cut up the onion. Oh. I know she's getting blunt. A little. I'm going to add some onions. I'm going to do more than the usual size I usually do. I'm going to fry the onion. I'm going to Now I put my meat in it as soon as the onions are nice and brown. Then I put my meat in it. I'm doing a lot, it's not just one portion. I'm doing a double portion today. Then I put my Usually just put just a little bit of so now I put some onion salt. Put some garlic granules. I also put just a little bit of this basil and
I like using the cubes just one or two of these cubes in the food the new normal ones just use two of them as you can see that brings out the flavor of the food Brings out the flavor. And I also like to put this spice in. I always put this, they like it with that. So I always put some and then. Leave it like that, and a little bit of cayenne pepper. That's cayenne pepper, as you can see. Not too much, just a bit. Then I keep frying until all the meat meets meat nicely done some boiling water that's boiling water mm -hmm. we can soak this lasagna sheets we're going to soak them so that they are soft you put enough that you're going to use more than enough and we put a little bit of salt this is Himalayan salt that we put in the lasagna Then you keep turning until it's all done. And what I usually do at this t point in time, I add not too much, but I just put a little bit because my kids, they don't like eating vegetables. So this is the only way I get them to eat vegetables. What I usually do make them eat, and now I pour in the sauce. I like using the bolognese sauce or any pasta sauce that you like, or you can use the lasagna sauce. I don't particularly like that one, it's not the ready made one. So I can use any sauce that I like, like so. Then I mix everything. As you can see, And I like using the stock powder too, not too much, 
but it brings flavor to the food, to the my lasagna. Right, so it's all done. Now we're going to check if the pe the lasagna sheets are soft enough. Now we're going to lay the lasagna and the lasagna sheets. Let's see. I always like to put this first so that the sheets I put on the bottom they don't get to burn. You lay. I like using this quick oven thingy because this one is done now as you can see we are going to start laying our I always start with the lasagna sheets as you can see make sure you take them off gentle one lay them inside and then we put some some of the On the bottom then we now put a second layer Then we put some of this I use everything. Thank you. 